My name is Teresa Gidaro and I'm worked at NMD Pharma as Director of Clinical Development. Charcot Marie II is a group of inherited peripheral neuropathy leading to muscle weakness in patients. The muscle weakness touch essentially lower limbs leading to difficulties in working and also in balance. Patients could also be affected on in the hands and in the arms leading to loose of fine motor skills or cramps or uh, some loose of sensory sensitivity. Charcomari 2 is due to mutation in a specific gene affecting the myelin of the axon or directly the axon leading to the uh, manifestation of the symptoms and we have two type of Charcomari 2 type 1 with demilization uh, symptoms and type 2 with the axonal symptoms. So far we don't have specific cure for CMT so the managing of patients focus on treating the symptoms by physical therapy, by orthopedic devices or in some patients uh, with surgical intervention. In a recent observational study conducted by NMD Pharma has been observed that CMT type 1 and type 2 patients have some defect at the neuromuscular junction transmission and these defects correlate with muscle weakness, with balance symptoms, with mobility and also fatigue. CLC1 inhibitors have recently emerged as a therapeutic potential approach in some neuromuscular disorders like CMT where we have a neuromuscular junction transmission defect. CLC1 is a chloride skeletal muscle channel which play a critical role in the muscle excitability. So in certain neuromuscular disorders we have a greater susceptibility to muscle weakness and fatigue. And this is due to a loose of the excitatory conduction current in the narrow, at the neuromuscular junction. And across this disease, we have a loose of the excitatory current, but also we have an increase of the uh, inhibitory current through the CLC1 chlor channel. So this inhibitory current dominates respect of the excitatory current leading to a dysfunction of the neuromuscular junction transmission with leading to muscle weakness and fatigue in some neuromuscular disorder like Charcot-Marie or Myasthenia gravis or spinal muscular atrophy. That could be counterbalanced by CLC1 inhibition. That means that some molecule like NMD670 inhibiting the CLC1 chlor channel could increase the neuromuscular junction transmission leading to an increase of muscle weakness and fatigue. And in that context the leading molecule of NMD Pharma could have a potential role to alleviate the muscle symptoms in patients like Charcot-Marie 2, increasing muscle weakness and the fatigue. And this is the reason why we are conducting the phase 2A study, synapse study, in patients with Charcot-Marie 2. So the phase 2 is just starting. We are initiating the clinical sites. This is a phase 2A study in patients affected by Charcot-Marie 2 type 1 and type 2. This is a randomized placebo control study where the main objective is to assist the efficacy and safety of NMD670 up to 400 mg in patients treated for 21 days. So 80 patients are planned to be randomized in two groups, uh, equally distributed, receiving placebo BID and for an NMD670 400 mg BID. The duration of the study will be of eight weeks with six clinical visits. 
and the main objective is to assist the efficacy of the NMD670 using different uh, endpoints. We will have the primary endpoints where we are using the change of baseline of the 6 minute walk test, of the 10 minute walk run test, and the time and up go test, NMD670 versus placebo. And we will have also several secondary and exploratory endpoints where we are measuring other symptoms in sarcoma rate for patients like fatigue that will be measured with the six mute work test fatigue index or with some uh, patients reported outcome that they are measuring the fatigue uh, in patients. We are also assessing the safety of MD670 in patients. Uh, assessing uh, different laboratory analysis, physical examination, uh, incidence of adverse events during the study, and assessing also some potential risk correlated to NMD670. The study is actually ongoing. We plan to conduct the study in 19 clinical sites across five different countries in Europe and also in North America. This is a very exciting program for NNB Pharma but also for CMT patients because as previous say, no cure exists today for CMT uh, patients, no approval drug for CMT patients. Patients' population are very excited to participate in that study and excited also to see if the drugs works, even if this is not the principal objective of the study because reminding this is a phase 2A study with a specific question and hopefully if uh, we demonstrate that it is safe and efficient in this study we can conduct a pivotal phase 3 study with a much more number of patients and also extending the study to other subtype of sarcomarito disease.